And now our back to school coverage continues, new at 630. And joining me live in studio is Congressman Jim Langevin. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me on. We're so glad to have you. All this week, you've actually been going back to school on a listening tour that focuses on higher education. So tell us a little more about it. Right. So during this week, I've been focusing on the colleges and universities in the second congressional district. Uh, they, our colleges and universities are great uh, economic drivers uh, in our in our state, and I wanted to really understand what their challenges are and uh, and what they're doing to educate our young people so that we're preparing them for uh, successful and, and bright futures as they when they graduate. Now today was Providence College and Johnson and Wales University. Uh, I assume students are back on campus at this point. So what were you hearing from? They're some not of quite back on campus yet. Uh, okay. They're getting ready for them, but we do head at, at, at each of the uh, the locations, each at Providence College and at Johnson and Wales. We had a student uh, representative taking me around the uh, the campus. I wanted to kind of get a uh, a tour from the students' perspective when they're coming back to, mm -hmm. to school as they're, uh, you know, getting, acc you know, acclimated and getting introduced to the college environment. So uh, it was fun to, you know, to interact with uh, the, the student that uh, that took us around. But we also had people from the administration there as well. So give me an uh, give me an opportunity to hear what they're doing uh, to prepare our our young people for the you know the challenges that they'll face in the academic rigor, but also being prepared for uh, when they graduate. Any specific feedback there that that you really recall hearing from them? Well, they, uh, obviously they love the, the campus environment at, at, at both places, and you know the challenge is uh, how do we I ensure that we're, we're, our students are getting uh, the, the right education, the right tools. You know, we're the colleges, universities are uh, great incubators for uh, the, the next generation of, of workers, uh, as well as the, uh, the next generation of, of entrepreneurs. So uh, the challenge that we face, of course, is that I think there's a lot of times is a, is a disconnect between what colleges and universities uh, are teaching and what the uh, what the real world needs of the say the business community are the people that are hiring uh, one of the great uh, uh, visits we had of course also was at the uh, New England Tech I, I co-chair the career and technical education caucus and and there's a real need in our state for people with career and tech skills because there are jobs available and as we're struggling still to uh, see our economy recover uh, we found that there's still this huge skills gap both in Rhode Island but it's something that's occurring across the country where there are jobs available but not uh, the right skills that people have right now and that's a, one of the things that our colleges and universities are are challenged with doing is filling that skills gap and yeah they, they really connecting the college to what the workforce needs and Absolutely. making sure students are getting an education in what they can actually use versus e yes something Ex that's no longer needed exactly and so uh, I have an educational advisory committee and that's going to help me to make sure that you know we're understanding what the challenges are in education right now and I want also foster an environment of collaboration in, in uh, among educators so that uh, that uh, they're interacting together, but also making sure that again they're teaching the right skills, so that our young people have the the best possible future ahead, and that we keep our young people here in the state. That's always one of the things that really kind of breaks my heart, and I find it so frustrating that Keeping even once our kids are, are educated, yeah. and then you know, a lot of times they leave, and it's a lot of times because they they may not be able to find the jobs that that they need that are going to be good paying. So I know we're making progress in this area. But we have uh, we still have work ahead, and I um, want to do everything I can to make sure that, from a policy perspective, mm -hmm. uh, that Congress is providing the right resources, and that we're making sure that the right things are happening, so that we're doing the, the right thing for our young people to make sure that they can succeed. All right. Well, we wish you the best of luck on your college tours, and Thanks. we certainly appreciate you being in studio with us, Congressman 